The blowing of the Apocalypse trumpets will be followed by the arrival of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, among the most feared characters in the Christian world. John the Evangelist was one of the Apostles closest to Jesus, and one of the main preachers of Christ's teachings. John is regarded as the author of important biblical books, such as the Gospel of John and the Three Epistles of John. But his most famous work was the Book of Revelation. John the Evangelist had been exiled to the Greek island of Patmos, where he sought to evade the persecution of Christians declared by the Roman Emperor Domitian. During his stay in Patmos, John wrote the Book of Revelation, describing his prophetic visions bestowed by an angel of the Lord showing the end of time and Messiah's return. The prophecies in the Book of Revelation and the Biblical New Testament tell that, when the end times come, God will hold in his hand a scroll containing seven holy seals, which in turn safeguard the scroll's contents that tell of great secrets hidden since the earth's foundation. According to the Judeo-Christian vision, the coming of the apocalypse will usher in the divine revelation of things that until then remained secret, but it will also bring about many calamities and catastrophes, such as humanity has never seen before. By opening the first four seals, God releases the four horsemen of the apocalypse upon the earth, who ride on horses of different colors. The first one rides on a white horse. He carries a bow and arrows, as well as a golden crown. He may be Jesus Christ himself in some interpretations, or as in other versions, he is the figure known as the Antichrist, whose mission is to ride around the world shooting poisoned arrows, containing the germs of all diseases and summoning pestilence upon the earth. The second horseman is the one responsible for bringing war. He carries a sword and rides a red horse. He has been granted the right to bring peace to earth, causing men to kill each other mercilessly. His raised sword represents the end of peace, and his blood-red horse means the death of thousands of people, suggesting a great world war where cities will be ravaged and thousands of lives will be lost. The third horseman mounts a black horse and is popularly known as the one who will bring famine to the world. He carries a pair of scales that can represent justice's volatility, which can swing either one way or the other. The scales also represent the scarcity of food in the world, with a full day's wages buying just a portion of wheat capable of feeding a single person so that workers would struggle to feed their families. The fourth and last rider is called Death. He rides a skinny, cadaverous horse of a pale yellow color. The fourth horseman is depicted as being accompanied by Hades, meaning that he has near him the entrance to the world of the dead, where countless demons dwell. The arrival of the fourth horseman also starts a new stage of the prophecy, where God grants the four horsemen authority over a quarter of the earth to kill with the sword, famine and disease, and to bring death by attacks of wild beasts against humans. The first two horsemen will introduce carnage and oppression, which in turn will be followed by the horsemen of famine, who will destroy food production and the hope for future harvests. This sets the stage for a disease epidemic, and the coming of the fourth horseman will decimate the Earth's population with death. Quite a few interpretations have been made about the Book of Revelation over the years. While some suggest that the events described by John already occurred in the past, during the fall of the Roman Empire, many believe that the prophecies will still be fulfilled and that our world is getting closer and closer to the end.